Hello, my name is Katya and I'm going to present you my master thesis in architectural lighting design from KTH University. The title of my thesis is Light as a medium to enhance communication in urban spaces. By focusing on the non-commercial mission of light and by excluding the brand communication, advertisements and billboards, the research is focusing on sociopolitical, environmental and health issues. On this slide, we can have a sneak peek of some of the projects that have been analyzed in this research. Let's start now with the introduction. In recent years, we are going through a period of sociopolitical, environmental and political turmoil. Air and water pollution, global warming, increase of infectious diseases, political conflicts, terrorism and social racism are just some examples of the issues we have to face. Municipalities, non-governmental organizations and individuals find different means and actions in order to achieve change and create awareness. Actions like street demonstrations, conventions and visual advertisements through the mass media. Today, we are living in the era of technology, where the internet, interactive multimedia, smartphones and generally all kinds of technological developments have a dominant role in everyday life. Static printed images are no longer able to convey powerful messages when people are used to vibrant screens and fast changes. New ways must be developed in order to engage people, communicate social messages, raise awareness and motivate them to progress and achieve change. The question here is whether we could inspire the global community to engage, learn and take action for the future of the world through light. The thesis structure is based on academic standards and the selected methodology is following a qualitative approach. The topic crosses the borders of different disciplines. In the background chapter, there is information regarding how light triggers the brain and the behavioral responses, how the urban city is structured, what is the communication theory, what is the importance of media, what is activism and social engagement, and finally, about lighting characteristics and existing lighting tools. 30 examples were selected and divided in three categories. The first category is about sociopolitical issues, the next one about environmental, and the third one about health issues. Moreover, there is an extra category which is related to protest action that characterizes the form that has been used for the communication of the message. Some parameters were set in order to select which six projects could be the most beneficial for the research question. The parameters were set regarding the topic, the location, the technology used, as well as the communication theory. Finally, the last part of the methodology was a section of qualitative interviews. The interview partners had very different backgrounds. For that reason, they have been categorized in three groups. Politicians and social activists, lighting designers, and the six selected project creators. All of them have made valuable contributions to this research. The next chapter is a discussion which is divided into 12 categories. They are critically evaluated findings and connects the case studies category with the background research. In the end, it is justified that light under certain context is an attractive medium, suitable for raising awareness, communicating messages for local and global issues, and creating social engagement in the urban space. Light has a unique communication style. It can transfer messages quickly and simply without raising linguistic, class or racial barriers. It is a non-verbal language which broadcasts meaning by using the city as a canvas. Finally, it is very important to set an interdisciplinary dialogue between the government, the stakeholders, the organizations, the citizens, the lighting designers and generally everybody in order to work closely together and notice the communicative role of light from a social perspective. It is time to start using light more consciously, with our main goal to communicate messages in an impactful, interesting and visually attractive way. I would like to close that video by quoting the digital artist Naziha Mestawi, who said If we all connect it, we can have a huge impact. We all have the power to inspire our future. Thank you very much for listening.